By the end of this video, you'll be able to turn your keyboard sound from this to this. I'm going to show you 5 different methods that will make your keyboard sound way better. ASUS ROG sponsors this video and I'll be using the new ROG ASOT keyboard as our demo model. This keyboard also comes with all the modding tools you ever need like a brush, loop, switch, and keycap pullers, making the modding process easy and not complicated. And if you're looking for a new gaming or custom keyboard, this one should be interesting for you. Now the first mod I'm gonna show you is the tape mod method. This is a super simple way to make your keyboard sound more poppy. You only need two things for this mod, some electrical or duct tape and scissors. All you gotta do is cut some electrical or duct tape and stick them on the bottom of the PCB. And that's it, your keyboard will sound poppier than before. You could also do many layers of tape mod if you want, but I prefer to do it just one layer. And you might be surprised how this simple mod can change the way your keyboard sounds. Next up, we got switch lubing. This is a bit more time consuming, but it's worth it if you want a smoother typing experience and a better sounding keyboard. For this, you'll need a brush, loop, and a switch opener. If you don't have a switch opener, you can also use scissors, but it's gonna be a bit harder. All you gotta do is to remove the keycaps, pull out the switches, and open them. Now, you'll have the bottom and top housings, the spring, and the stem. I like to apply some lubricant to the bottom housings first, and then the spring. And before I loop the stem, I dip my brush again to get some lube to apply it on the stem and spread it around with the brush. Important note, when lubing, less is more. Cause once you over loop your switches, it's a lot of work to get them clean and loop them again. And once you're done, you can install them together again and that's it. You've just looped one switch. You keep repeating the process until it's all done. It is definitely time consuming, but if you don't want to commit that much time just for your keyboard, the switches that come with the ROG ASOT are actually quite nice, considering they are stock. Even though they don't sound premium like loop switches, they feel really smooth and I barely feel the scratchiness from them. The third method is lubing the stabilizers. Having good stabilizers is a must for a good sounding keyboard. But unfortunately, many pre-built keyboards have trash stabilizers, like this one, this one, this one, and this one. But luckily, the ROG ASOT has amazing stabilizers, which I hope that many other companies will also follow this direction. Now how to loop stabilizers, since I'm not gonna loop the stabilizers of the ROG ASOT, I'll be showing the footage of me looping other stabilizers for another keyboard. It's quite similar compared to looping switches, you loop the stem and the housing, but you also have to loop the wire. Be more generous while looping the wire, enough loop so that the stabilizers don't tick. Rule is the same, never over loop them. Fourth, we got foam dampening. This one's really easy. All you gotta do is cut some foam to fit inside your keyboard case and it will make your keyboard sound less hollow and absorb the pinging in your case. So the sound will be more solid if that makes sense. You can use any foam laying around in your house, but in my case, modding the ROG ASOT, it is already packed with many foams and even a silicone dampener. And finally, for the last mod, we've got keycaps. This is not only a way to personalize your keyboard and make it stand out, but you can also change how your keyboard sounds depending on what type of keycaps you use. Different materials and keycap profile can change the sound quite drastically. For example, I'm gonna provide you some sound tests using different keycaps material. One is ABS plastic with SA profile, one with metal keycaps, and the last one with the keycaps that come originally with ROG ASOT keyboard, which is double shot PBT plastic. I would say whether these keycaps make your keyboard sound better or not totally depends on your preference. If you like deep thucky sound, I would say go with the SA Profile keycaps or something similar. If you like clacky ones, go with ABS or PBT Cherry Profile keycaps. If you are rich and want to waste $300 on keycaps, go with the metal keycaps. But seriously don't, it's not worth it. I have two sets of them and I would rather spend those money on e-girls who truly care about me when I donate my money to them. 
I've built and mod over 20 custom keyboards so far, and the ROG ASOF is quite fun and easy to mod. Also, the ROG ASOF as a gaming keyboard is a huge step up from the normal pre-built gaming keyboards on the market. It's got a ton of customizability and it feels like a mix of a gaming keyboard and a custom keyboard. It performs great like the Supernova Wireless that performs just as good as using it wired with no delay at all. Now you might be wondering, how does this compare to the Wooting 60 HE, which we all know is the fastest and best gaming keyboard, and I also have it here. The Wooting 60 HE is undeniably the fastest gaming keyboard on the market right now, but in reality, it's not even close to being my daily driver. Most of the time, I use my custom keyboards with 75% or TKL layout for gaming, editing, and productivity use. While the 60% layout of the Wooting 60 HE is compact and good for strictly gamers, it's kinda hard for people like me who doesn't only game but also use the keyboard for work and other stuff. The typing experience on the Wooting 60 HE is also really stiff. That's where the ROG ASOL fills the gap that the Wooting 60 doesn't, offering a similar experience of a custom keyboard with customizability while still giving the great feature gamers care about, like the fast wireless response time. Also forgot to mention, the keyboard has a 2000 hours battery life. Well, I don't know what to say, it stays on for almost 3 months, just crazy. The price has yet to be finalized, so I don't know what to say regarding its price to value. It will be released around late January, so if you're interested in the ROG ASOT, the link will be in the description. Other than that, have fun modding your keyboard.